Welcome back to our fourth unarmed stage combat video. Today we're going to be looking at punches. We're going to be looking at two specific kinds of punches known as straight punches and jabs. So let's take a look. Uh, so first we're going to start in a basic on guard fighting position right here. So once again, this is a three dimensional stance just like in armed combat with width and depth in between the feet and a lowered center of gravity right here. Now as I do that, I'm going to bring my fists up, keep my fists in front of me. Now, as I do this, my front, I have a front foot and I have a back foot, which means I also have a front hand and I have a back hand. And that's going to determine whether a punch is a jab or a straight punch. A jab happens with the front arm. A straight punch happens with the rear arm. So once again, jab, straight. Okay? Now, as you do this, here's the technique. You, here's what it should look like. So jab, straight. Jab, straight. Now, I'm doing a couple things. First off, I'm extending my arm about 90% of the way. I don't want to fully extend it and lock my arm. I just want to go about 90%. Same thing here, that 90% extension. 90% extension. Now, as I do that, I also want to avoid leaning forward. I don't want to weight shift forward. I don't want to lean forward. So instead, I'm going to consciously lift my body up into a little bit of a releve. So as I snap, my body goes up, snap, body goes up, 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 and that means I'm consciously moving up so that I'm not unconsciously moving forward and endangering my partner. But I am going to keep my feet planted on the ground, so I'm not going to go up onto my toes. It's just up, up. Now, let's talk targets. Uh, Dante, would you mind coming up here, please? Okay, so there's a couple different ways we can do these straight punches. One way that we can do them is stacked with our partner. So once again, just like with the shared nap slap, if my partner has their back to the audience, then I can perform these straight punches here. And if I do this, I can actually be very, very far away from the audience. The audience is usually pretty far away from the stage, and the farther away you get from something, the less you have depth perception available. So standing right here, which is actually in punching distance, and standing back here, which is well out of punching distance, doesn't look very different to an audience. And if you're on film, camera has even less depth perception. And audiences generally cannot tell the difference between somebody standing this far away from the partner and somebody standing this far away from the partner. So from the side, this would be in distance where I could easily punch my partner, but I'm going to perform these out of distance, where there's no way I can make contact with my partner. Now if I do that, what I want to target is I want to imagine there is a softball sized target floating about 10 inches in front of my partner's muzzle, right about here. And that is what I'm going to spot after making eye contact, and that is what I'm going to hit with my jab and my straight. Jab, straight. Jab, straight. Okay, now, as you do this, I want to point out a couple things. So first off, you do want a nice, fast snap. You want to make it look like you really are uh, putting some effort into this and really trying to injure your opponents, that you're fighting and you care about the fight. Second, uh, the way you make a, punt, uh, a fist matters. So generally, you do just want to tuck that thumb. You don't want to put your thumb inside your fingers. Just on the outside is fine. A loose fist is just fine for stage combat. We don't need to really tighten it up like Bruce Lee. And we absolutely do not want the thumb pointed forward where it could get jabbed if you accidentally make contact. So a nice loose fist with the thumb tucked out of the way, not inside the hand is just fine. Now, the reaction. Dante can do a very nice snap, uh, a nap sound, by simply putting his hands like this. He brings his bottom hand up to meet the top hand to make the clapping sound, and then he can continue bringing that hand up to make contact with the face to show the audience where he has been hit. Now, he's also going to adjust the direction that his face moves depending on where my fist is coming from. So that if my fist is coming here, his face is probably going to move more straight back. If my fist is coming from here, his face is probably going to move a little bit more to the side. Now, in both cases, he wants to relax the neck muscles, lengthen the neck, instead of compressing the head back. He doesn't want to pull back. He wants to lighten the neck. And of course, if you get punched here, it might be more appropriate to move the back of the face backwards, like this. And if it gets hit from the side, a little bit off to the side might be more appropriate, along with that nap. So let's take a look at this. If you could stand uh, with your back facing the audience, 
I'm going to be way out of distance. I make eye contact. I spot that target. And first, I'm going to do a jab. Okay. Oh, I kind of weight shifted forward. Let's try that again. Give me a big, better now. Here's my jab. There we go. And now here's my straight punch. Okay. One more time, I'm going to go up. I'm coming forward a little too much. Here's my straight. There we go. So hopefully that looked pretty good on camera. Now we can also do jabs and straights from the side, but it's going to be very different. From here, we can't do this out of distance because the audience, again, is going to clearly see that there is space in between my hand and his, fit and his face. Instead, we have to do this much closer together. So can you put your left foot forward here? So we're going to be here, and again, the trick is I need to get my fist in between his face and the audience, or I need to get his face in between my fist and the audience. So, for instance, I could do a jab here, offline, just like my proscenium slap. So I make eye contact, spot the target, jab right there. And if I do that, he's going to react in such a way that it makes it look like my fist is going through his face and pushing it back that way. And he's also going to make a nap sound on his side as I do that. So let's try that. Jab. There we go. Let's try that again. I don't know if I extended my fist enough. And jab. Okay, and as you do that, be real careful about whipping your head back too far. If you move your head back, it's going to look very clearly like I didn't make contact. So keep your head closer here so that we really see that contact. So let's try that again. Jab. <coughs> there. And now I can do a straight. We'll go the opposite direction. Straight. <coughs> there. So that's how you can do a jab or a straight from the side, as well as how you can do a jab or a straight stack. So, I would like you to uh, pick one of those two situations, please, uh, either stacked or profile, and please show me a jab and a straight punch with a partner and reactions. Thank you.